Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Still in Pevensey. I'm just going to have a little walk down to St Mary's Church next to Pevensey Castle, which could be one of, or the, first Norman church built after the conquest. So 1067, 1068 kind of time. I thought it'd be nice to just go and uh, have a quick look. The old Roman walls here. Although it's Pevensey, um, this place is called Westham. Westham. But it's still really Pevensey, I think. There's always somebody who can correct you. Lovely old cottages, look at them. Beautiful. Yeah, so Westham, West Ham. Don't know. I'm sure I'll get it wrong. Door alert. Small door, small door. So here we are, St Mary the Virgin Church. Probably built, I say around, probably around 1200. And enlarged in the 1300s. Um, it's lovely. A little walk around outside first. I mean, the first Norman church, I mean, was there a church on the site before? Like a lot of these older churches are. Um, Maybe I need to look up on that a bit more. Uh, oh, it's a nice small door. Oh, smallish anyway, smallish. It goes around the back here. Into the churchyard. little public footpath that goes through the expanded churchyard and down this little alleyway here. Looks cool. But we're here to look at the church. There'll be plenty of walking around Wilmington and Alfriston over the next day or so. Yeah. And do tell me guys, I do sort of a lot of short videos and then I do, do you like the longer format videos if I do them like 20 minutes or do you like short little clip it's 8 minutes, 9 minutes, 10 minutes? Um, you know, should I have done this video along with Pevensey Castle? But um, a church and a castle sort of different subjects aren't they? Although it's still history and we're still in the same town. But uh, let me know in the comments below. So 
So this is St Mary the Virgin Church, beautiful church. This wall looks very bare though, like it's been scraped away. I don't know why that would be. And um, it's a very ancient church. This looks part probably of some renovation work doing. Yeah, lovely screen. We go into the chancel. Lovely. St Mary's at Westham, 1080 to 1980. So 1080. Okay. So just before the Doomsday Book was commissioned. Um, so lots of renovations over the years, like all these churches are. I say that probably in every video. It's very nice. Lovely old stained glass window here. Oh, this is interesting, a bit naughty though. A fragment of Solomon's temple chipped off from a foundation stone uh, in 1860 by Howard Hopley and embedded in place in Western Church, 1905. Oh, yeah, it's saying here that the present chancel seems to have been added about the time of Henry V. Um, the chancel arches of 1420. 1420. Here they are. 1694. Oh, this is what I was looking for. I always love these in churches. I say it every single time. God, I repeat myself a lot, don't I? The Vicars of Weston. Going back, to, there's some here from 15. Uh, the Norman Church, which with the transit of South Wall still stand, was built circa 1080, but the record of Vickers is found uh, only from 15, thir sorry, 1332, leaving a gap of 250 years. So in the, to 1532, Richard D. Seaford, uh, and here we only go up to 1942, Harold Courthurst. Brian Duper, such a modern name, it sounds Duper or Dupper, Dupa, was made Dean of the Church and Vice-Chancellor of Oxford and then consecrated Bishop of Chichester. Afterwards, he was translated to Salisbury and finally to Winchester in 1660 and died in 1662, age 74, and buried at Westminster Abbey. This church screams that it should have wall paintings, but I can't see any. I didn't see any on the information I was reading up on. Um, but the windows up there, I'm sure they're uh, Norman. Two pound, yep. Yeah, guess what I forgot to bring out again? Oh. Do you know, I should, I should start collecting these things. I mean, I'm not really a collector. I'm not a person of things. Um, which might sound strange, I mean the accumulation of things, but I should start collecting some of these um, little church leaflets about the history of these churches. I've got some at home still from previous visits, but um, I just haven't got any money. Bring out money, Mark. Come on, find a reminder. Thank you, St Mary the Virgin Church. Um, we're now going down to the Royal Oak and Castle Inn, which I last ate in there about 2009. Yeah, about 2009, we had a, a meal in there before doing an investigation at the courthouse. Um, and after that, might have a little quick look around Pevensey High Street and the courthouse and the church there. Lovely, let's go.
that was a lovely lunch in the Royal Oak and Castle Inn. A lovely uh, owl pie, it's really nice.